Hey guys, Alex here from Workshop 12. Today we're going to take a quick look at the Brainiac Smart Rearview Mirror and why it's a cool gadget for your ride. The Brainiac Smart Rearview Mirror is the perfect solution for your ride. And why is that? Well, that's because it has a dash cam and a reverse camera all in one. The front camera is a uh, 1440p at 170 degree wide angle, as well as uh, the rear is a full 1080p and it has 140 degree angle. So one of the really cool things about this rear view camera, um, smart mirror, is the fact that it has a G sensor known as a gravity sensor, where it's going to basically detect uh, whenever you get in a crash um, or there's a hard brake, and it's going to basically put it in a locked folder so it doesn't get rewritten. Before we show you guys how to install it in your car and how it all works, let's do a quick unboxing to see what's in the box. So the first thing you're going to see is some stickers, a little we appreciate you card, and of course, the smart mirror. On the top of the mirror, you actually have a micro SD, um, micro SD slot, your mini USB charge port, and the connection to connect your rear view camera. On the back, you have your little um, clips here that would clip onto your existing mirror, and you have your 2K resolution uh, dash cam that comes with an adjustable little swivel here where you'll be able to adjust it without needing to actually move the whole entire mirror. It also comes with the charger that connects right into your cigarette lighter. The full 1080p rear view camera connects right on top of the mirror. And in that same little bag, you have this two, uh, double sided 3M tape, as well as two little tiny uh, screws that will be able to bolt on the rear view mirror. And of course, the little rubber band-aids that can connect right onto the existing clips here and wrap around your existing rear view. All right, guys, so let's not waste any more time and get into the car so you can see it in action. All right, guys, so I already wired in the reverse camera. You're going to basically wire in the camera, the reverse camera uh, from the back of the vehicle. You're going to pass the wire straight through uh, the bottom here and you're going to run it up here and then you're going to tuck in your cable um, as nice as you can in the uh, headliner here and then um, this is the charge I already did it just to save some time here you guys are going to get the little rubber uh, band-aids you're going to grab your mirror you're going to clip on these rubber band-aids right on here and basically grab the rubber band-aid and connect it straight to the other side here. And then on this side. Once you already got the reverse camera all wired in and the power, you are now ready to enjoy the Brainiac Rearview Smart Mirror. And um, that's it. So. How it basically works is right now it's showing the reverse camera and you can swipe and then you'll be able to watch the two footages, the dash cam, as well as the reverse camera. And if you swipe again, you'll have the full screen of the dash. And once you guys adjust the mirror, uh, the camera, the 2K camera at the back here is has a little swivel. So you'll be able to adjust it um, to your liking. For those uh, cars that shoot some flames and you want to catch some footage of that, you head over to your reverse camera, grab your finger and slide down or up to adjust it. And then, of course, you can see the flames coming out. And um, for those that don't shoot flames and want to see the curb, uh, you'll be able to see uh, and park your car perfectly um, with this mirror. The power, you plug it into your cigarette lighter. In this particular car, it's a Nissan 350. The cigarette lighter is located here at the back. 
when I go on road trips, I don't want to, um, I want to leave that cigarette lighter accessible, uh, for any charging or anything like that. So what I ended up doing is I actually installed the female cigarette lighter inside the dash here and connected it right with the Mark one companion kit. And for those that don't have the Mark one companion kit, you can just simply connect it to power and ground of your stereo harness and you're complete. And to give you a brief demo on how I did it back there, please don't judge on the wiring as I am still working. It's a complete mess back there. So uh, the first thing we're going to do, uh, this Nissan 350 is equipped with the beautiful Tesla um, plastics. So the first thing we're going to do is remove the uh, magnetic faceplate. We're going to grab the Samsung tablet, unplug the aux cord and the charge cable, and we're going to set it to the side here. Um, not sure if you guys can see that, but this one here has the uh, 90 millimeter fan upgrade that keeps your tablet cool, especially in the weather that we're having lately. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, so this is a really cool update. And um, I already uh, took off all the screws. So if this is not an installation video, so for the people that want to know how to install the plastics, head over to our channel and you'll see the actual install video. Just for uh, purposes of moving this video a little faster, um, I already took everything apart. So I don't want you guys to think that it's not taken apart and you're just ripping off the plastic here. So in this case, the way that I have it wired is that this is the plug for the camera. And it's a cigarette lighter, a female cigarette lighter. And I also have it, I bought one that comes with an extra USB uh, charge, USB port, so I can connect uh, my my iPhone or Android USB-C and then I basically just wired in the ground and the power right onto my um, Stereo harness and then of course at the back here. I have my uh, car link it dongle Which is my Apple CarPlay and Android Auto wireless uh, that's connected to the companion kit and um, Yeah, there you guys have it I mean, you guys know if you guys have any questions um, or you need any assistance with troubleshooting or more questions regarding the mirror or the plastics, don't hesitate to reach out. Our team will be more than happy to help you. Um, and as always, uh, thank you for supporting Workshop 12. Peace.